Hello everyone, it's Joe from OnePageZen.com, and today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure 100% free auto-renewing SSL certificates for your websites on Google Cloud Platform. Now, in this example, I'm going to be configuring the SSL certificates for this domain right here. Uh, before getting started with this tutorial, you need to have already launched a website on Google Cloud Platform. If you haven't yet done that, there is a link to that tutorial in the description to this video. So let's get started. Head on over to your Google Cloud Platform dashboard, go to your compute engine and to your VM instances, and then click the SSH button next to the uh, instance that is running your website. So I'm gonna click the SSH button here all right, now that you're connected to your website's server, what we're going to do is we are going to copy and paste some commands. Now, each of these commands is uh, listed individually, so you can copy and paste them uh, by following the link in the description of this video. So the first command I'm going to paste is uh, going to install the CertBot client. Now what the CertBot client is going to do is it's going to uh, help us to automatically renew our SSL certificates. So I'm going to paste that command, press enter, and there we go, it in, uh, our uh, CertBot client was installed. So the next command that I'm going to run is a command to generate our certificates. Now, as you see here, uh, let me get a little in depth on what this command does. Uh, you can copy and paste this command, but remember you have to change your domain, um, replace onepagezen.com and www.onepagezen.com with your own domain name. So that's the changes that you need to make with this command. So as you can see here, uh, it's asking if we want um, to use this disk space. We're gonna do Y for yes. It's installing. All right, now uh, you're gonna enter your email address. Press enter. Enter A for agree. Do N for no. All right, now you can see here, we get the congratulations message. Uh, this means that our certificates were uh, issued successfully. Now the next thing we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to test our certificates auto renew function. So to do that, I'm going to paste the following command and I'm gonna press enter. All right here, now you can see um, from this congratulations message uh, that our certificate renewal function is working properly. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna set up a cron tab. Now what the cron tab is going to do is it's going to automatically check to see if our certificates are due for renewal. So in order to set up the cron tab, I'm gonna paste the following command, press enter, and then enter one, press enter. Now I'm gonna scroll to the bottom of this file here and I'm going to paste some text. All right. Now, what this text is doing is it's telling uh, our cron tab file to check to see if our certificates are due for renewal. And it's gonna run this command two times every day. So I'm gonna do Control X, press Y, press Enter. So the next step in this tutorial is we're going to have to configure our newly generated certificates. So I'm gonna run the following command here 
And what this command is going to do is it's going to open up our default SSL configuration file. So I'm going to press enter. And towards the top of this file here, I'm going to copy and paste some text. And again, all these, uh, this, these commands can be copied and pasted from the uh, tutorial, uh, which is available um, in the description of this video. So I'm going to paste these commands here. I'm gonna paste this text. All right, great. Now I'm gonna scroll down some more. And you see here we have two uh, SSL certificate files already here. We have the uh, snakeoil.pem and snakeoil.key. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put uh, a pound sign next to each of these certificate files. And what I'm going to add now is I'm going to add the three SSL certificate files that we just generated in the last steps. So I'm going to copy them. I'm gonna do paste. Now you can reformat this, make it look nice if you want. Um, but what you have to do, and don't forget this, is you have to change this one page zen.com text in all three of these files, you need to change this to your own domain. So what you can do is just move the cursor, backspace, backspace, and then just enter your own uh, domain there. All right, after that's all done, you can do uh, control X, press Y, press enter, and that will save the file. Now, the next step in this tutorial is to configure an HTTPS redirect. Now, what this redirect is going to do is it's gonna tell our server to only serve the HTTPS version of our website, not the HTTP version. That way our website will always show the green padlock. So to do that, I'm gonna paste the following command, which is going to open our WordPress configuration file and press enter. And under the uh, virtual host area here, I am going to uh, paste three lines of code so I'm gonna paste these. Now remember, you have to change uh, the one page Zen domain. Remember in all three of these, you have to replace it with your own domain name that you're configuring your certificate files for. So once you've done that, you can do control X, Y, and then enter. And that will save changes to that file. All right. Now the last thing we are going to do is we are going to restart our Apache server in order for the changes to take effect. Now there's a couple of commands that we are going to have to run first in order uh, for the new SSL changes to be implemented. So I'm going to copy and paste all three of these commands, so that was command one here. And I'm gonna copy command two. I'm gonna paste it, press enter. And command three, paste it, press enter. All right, now the last thing we're going to do is we're gonna go to back to our WordPress website, uh, the one that I showed you at the beginning of this tutorial. And I'm gonna to go to my dashboard. And I'm gonna to go to the settings general section here. And where it says WordPress and site address URL, I need to change both of these uh, URLs 
so that they have HTTPS. Make sure that the uh, letter S is there. This will make sure that your website is always serving uh, the secure version. So click Save Changes. And now when you uh, visit your site, you will notice the uh, green padlock will always appear here in the upper left-hand corner of the screen, which is great. So that's it for this tutorial. Now remember, these certificates are not only free, but they're auto-renewing. So you really don't have to worry about configuring uh, these certificates again, which is a great thing. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them in the box below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching.